Welcome back my fellow vampires. We are starting this video off in the copper mines because we need to finish upgrading our gear. So I did some research and I found out that the bandit copper mine will give us copper ore, ingots, and some hell clarions, which you know don't need right now. But the important thing is we need some copper. So it looks like we're going to have to clear out this mine a little bit. Get to mining, get some killing, and all that kind of stuff. These guys are fairly low level, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. See, that guy's already dead. So let's get this going. I want to clear out as few people as possible, just because I don't think we need to take out everybody. But it looks like if I can get in here, maybe? If I can sneak my way into the mines... Ooh, here we go. Okay, so we can do some mining over here. I don't know what that is. Some hell clarions. That makes sense. So am I going to have to take this guy out? Yeah, looks like I am. So these guys are miners. Oh, nice. This is cool. Look at that. So I got to take out this, these guys. You there. Okay. Got that guy. Oh. Anybody good for consuming? No, he's one percent. Oh man. I should use my spear. It's higher level, and it has that thing right there. Cool. So let's grab some copper. This is what we need. We need to just get all copper armor, upgrade our gear, because we need to progress into this game, guys. Looks like we got Errol, the Stonebreaker, over here. Level 20. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Go ahead and equip my spear. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that thing has like a delay on it. I see, I see. I destroyed the stone. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get like a crossbow or something. Oh, I broke my foot here. Oh, he's calling some people. Okay. I'm doing pretty good against this guy. He doesn't do very much damage to me. But I am running low on armor, it seems like. Get out of that. Oh, I missed. Wow, this is... He's good at dodging me. No way I missed all that. <laughs> Let me get rid of him ASAP. Ooh, if I can feed, can I feed on him? Let's see, ooh, get away from that. No, I can't. I, I could have fed on the other guy. That was 52%. But I think I can feed on this guy. Yeah. Hold F to extract blood. Let's see what he gives me. I hope this unlocks um another one of the blood altar. It seems what it looks like. Nice. Yeah, new V blood unlocked. So let's see what he gives me. He looks like he is not blood. Unholy, Illusion, Chaos, 
Yeah, he's chaos. Aftershock. So smash the ground, causing a shock wave that erupts, dealing 100% magic damage in a line. And conflicting chaos burn. So let's go ahead and switch that with our R ability. And let's use it on these dudes over here. Nice. I like that. Cool. Let's finish up. I'm mining this stuff. Looks like I got a drop or something just fighting these guys trying to get out of here because I finished kind of what I came here to do. But let's see the brew of Ooh, my inventory is full. Okay, hold on. Let's clear out these guys real quick. I want to get a better blood type. That guy's 10%. Nah. All right, let's go ahead and drop these unsullied. I'll keep the unsullied. What about 80 animal leather? That's fine. Brew of Ferocity. Bring this book to research chest to unlock a new technology. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go check that out. Pretty good haul. We got a lot of copper. Two, four, six, eight, ten. About a thousand and seventy-three or something like that. So that's going to give us a lot of copper ingots, which is what we need to kind of upgrade our thing. Next thing we also need, too, is to keep filling up our logs here 38 planks that's not bad i um have some more storage over here so this is kind of where all hard materials goes some random stuff over here have some planks some copper Eat those so kind of staying organized as we go so let's check out this research i have another book hearth of wall hearth wall panels which is pretty cool so i think we need paper so i got 56 paper four scrolls let's go here let's check that out Ooh, so if I research that. Nice. We have a book too, which is going to be a brew that increases physical power by four for 1200, 12, yeah, 1200 seconds. Nice. So I can research that. Boom. So books give you automatic research. Paper gives you random research. And that gives me a water well. Cool. <laughs> I guess I got a water wheel now. All right. So what we have some stuff waiting in the grinder and in the furnace. Still making copper. So we might build a couple more furnaces. We have upgraded our armor here. So we have full Night Stalker now, which is pretty cool. It doesn't have like a set bonus, which is all right. I do want to upgrade my ring, but I need a couple things. I need lots of bones to get the next ring upgrade there. But so we are at level 27 now, considering what we have here. So that's a little bit of an upgrade. Next, what I want to do is if I go here, we need to upgrade our castle, but we're going to need a lot of stone brick and a lot of planks, which is why I upgraded my tools is because we're going to have to do a, a lot of farming right now. So that's kind of what we're going to do right now is get some farming, chop down all these trees, and then we'll upgrade our castle. All right, let's start upgrading our building here. So I want to start with the door, the entrance. We got a couple doors, castle gate. So we're locked when it was required an archway to be placed. Not open or close this door. Um, I'll change it later. I don't have servants yet. Walls. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. It'll be a it'll be a while to upgrade all this stuff, but this is looking good. It's exactly what I want. What I may do is I may just do this room right here by way of gate right there. That way I can get this enclosed in at least. So I'll need two more walls there, which is planks. I'll need a door, which is more planks. Let's head right over here. I should have enough planks to do this all. But like I said, it takes a while and I'm on fire. Eek. All right. Cool. We go here. Bada bing. Bada boom. And then I need to do the floors as well too. But I hope that one there. One there. Can I do? I'm going to need. Wow. Okay. I need more planks. While we're waiting for that, we're going to do the floors. Beautiful. Block by plant. Oh, okay. Yep. Because 
plant environment. If I go here, press B, we can dismantle that. Dismantle that. Press B, go here. Am I good now? Can I go here? Wooden coffin. If I can replace this coffin. Oh, I can't place a wooden coffin. So I guess I have to place it somewhere in here for now. Do that for now. Bada bing. Bada boom. Perfect. I need another wall there too. I missed that wall. I need a wall and a door. And it is finished. We finally have an entire castle with walls and a roof. So we can unlock the stone coffin. Can we build that? We got wallpapers. Ooh. Oh, nice. I like that. I like that a lot. We got a whole bunch of... Oh, we can decorate. I want to see where is Universal. Ooh, gargles, mi mirrors, lighting, torches, fundamentals, wooden coffin. Where is the stone coffin, though? Oh, right there. Grave dust. All right. So we got, we got a base. We got an official. We don't need to worry about the sun coming in. So at night, this is kind of where I moved all my production over here. I know it'll be more efficient if it's inside, but you know, we're still working on it. It's a work in progress. Clean up the base a little bit, put some torches up. Everything's looking good. Organize my chests a little bit, fill up my castle heart. Now we're going to take a break from the production and we're going to go on a hunt. So I want to hunt down Rufus the foreman to unlock the woodworking bench, the hunter's crossbow, fishing roll, fishing pole sculptured wood and the painting frame so this is a lieutenant of the bandit focus uh, a lieutenant of the bandit forces charged with looking over the logging camp just because he's an expert woodworker doesn't mean he doesn't know his way around a crossbow though he didn't rise up in the bandit ranks for nothing so we did go ahead and track this guy and we are going to work our way over to him came across this guy over here and we have a vampire hunter in our midst but i think i'm going to try to just avoid that guy <clears throat> Jeez, that would have been bad. Good thing he's not after me, he's after that guy. But I think, I don't want to... I want to get this guy right here. Oh no, avoid that. Nice, got some silver cord. I am carrying silver, which I don't... Oh, I guess that hurts you, doesn't it? If you carry silver. Because you are a vampire. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid that guy. But I think... If I'm in the right place, I think this is where... The... Our bandit is. Our woodworking guy in this area. Let's take a look. It is falling nighttime, so perfect timing to start a battle. This does look it because it's like a bandit logging camp. Right over here? Yes, Rufus. Just give me one second, Rufus. Yeah, I'm not going to help you fight that guy. I can't. I, I don't do any damage to him, but good luck. Oops. Hurry. Okay. Oh no. Listen, I don't want to fight this guy. Vampire Hunter, look, we could talk about it. <laughs> I'm dead. Ah, Vampire Hunter, get away from me! Alrighty, round two, baby. The Vampire Hunter just passed me. I did not aggro him, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuff, which is right over yonder. Go ahead and take that. Awesome. Now we can really get this guy. Come shoot me. A lot of guys on me, but that is okay. I like that. This 
guy's gonna help me. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Look at that damage. Nice. It's gonna extract his blood. Thank you, Ursula. You helped me out. That's why it's good to have a PVE buddy. Take a save with my coffee. Rufus the Foreman is now mine. I guess I'll help you over here since you were so kind. Nice try, pal. I'm gonna feed on him, get some. Life leech off of the brute. Perfect. Kill, kill, kill. So what did we unlock? Any cool new things? I think he is going to be blood, which is blood rage shield, self and nearby allies for 100% of your spell power, increase attack speed. So let's go there. Okay, okay. And that puts you, gives you like a buff. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yo, this guy's pissing me off. This, this is the same dude that led an entire, that, that freaking thing over here. What are you doing over here, dude? Like, what, what, what's your purpose? What are you just, you're out level, dude. Go away. Get away from the bandit camp. Jeez. Got me killed last time. Is this guy doing push-ups? He did like five of them. Get better gear. I want to check out what this does. What does this do exactly? Shield self and nearby allies for 100% of your spell power. So attack speed increases as well too. I don't think that's really worth it for what I'm doing. So I'm not, you know, using allies. So if I go frost, I'll bring that back down there. What's an ultimate ability? Emotes. I don't think I have an ultimate yet. Interesting. Take out this group over here. Try to get you guys some action. I think that's an amazing kind of combo there. That guy's seven. I'm nine percent. He did. There's one more guy over here, which is a 19%. I'll take that. He's a worker. Let's see what worker does. I don't think I've actually... Ooh, there's an alpha wolf over there. Oh, I think we can kill him. Let's see what worker does, though. Resource yield. Oh, interesting. I like that. Because if you're farming, you can... Oh. I see. What is this? A worker one percent. Interesting. What does this does to wood? This does to creatures. So four. Alpha wolf. Let's take him out. Come here, boy. This guy's gonna help me, probably. This guy got like a scythe and stuff. Oh yeah. I'll extract the blood. There we go. See what he does to me. What does extracting it, even though you already have it done, do? I'll just kill him, I guess? Interesting. I have a lot of stuff. That gave me a lot of animal, animal hide. Okay, cool. This guy destroyed all this stuff over here, so I'll pick up that, no problem. Oh, you can hold down F and pick it up. I like it. I like it. We got some skeleton guys over here. I can actually use some bones. Oh, I got to get out of there. Get in the shade. Nice. I think my Q ability on this one's going to do a little bit better. The skeleton. Go around, go around, go around, go around, run around, run around, run around, run around. 
Okay, okay, just guys, just... Just take it easy. Okay, okay, just get out of the sun. And then I'll do... Q! Nice. I like how they summon those guys, though. That's pretty cool. I gotta be careful, though. Because... I gotta get rid of these guys first. Oh, nope. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, I gotta heal up. Okay. Nope, don't let that hit me. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Oh, skeleton crossbow guy. Perfect, cool. Whew! That was a close one. Did I get a lot of bones for that? Did I get a lot of bones? I need grave dust. And you get that by... Picking up bones. Where am I? I am in Forgotten Cemetery. Yep, grave dust, bones. Yeah, this is where I kind of want to go because I need need that to build the stone coffin. Let's pick up this stuff. Bones. Got some bones. Got some more action over here. Got another skeleton mage, level thirty four this time. That hurt. I think if I just avoid whatever that is. Oh! Got a heal. Oh gosh. Am I way out of my depths here? I don't know what's going on. Okay, just heal up, heal up, heal up. We're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, focus. Ooh, who, who's he shooting at? No, come back here. Where's he going? Oh, don't tell me he healed up. No, or is that another one? I think. Yeah, I killed one. Oh, I don't think I killed one. Oh, maybe I did kill one. I did. Now there's another one. Kind of know how to fight these guys, though. So there's two. Get out of that. Oop, avoid that. Avoid that. Avoid that. Shoot him. Bam! Knocked out. And pick up some grave dust. How much do we have? We have one so far. We have enough bones to make three more. Because you need a hundred bones to make one grave dust. Pull up my sword again. Anything else over here? It's getting dark out again. It's getting gloomy. Gloomy and spooky. Got some more skelly boys. Oh my gosh. All the little guys. I need to kill these guys in the back. But I can't get to them. Let's see. That's satisfying. I gotta go around here. And I gotta get this guy right here. Which is a ghoul. I don't know what his deal is. I missed him. You can die. He died. Okay, just avoid all these shots. Oh gosh. This is brutal. Pop this real quick. Oh no, too late. Go! Oh, did I pop it? I don't think I did. Okay, he's dead. Pick up the bones. We've we'll got those guys. Nice! Is everyone dead? I think so, maybe. Now I should pop one of those. Heal up a little bit. We got a couple more ghouls coming our way, which I guess that's fine. Just 
Ooh, some grave dust. We got another skeleton priest, which we gotta take care of. Oh, and that skeleton mage is what really messes us up. Get away from that. Get out of that. Just keep dodging. Keep doing damage. Alrighty. My ring has broken, so my magic is probably going to suck right now. So I think it is time to head home. Actually, can I repair it? I can repair it. Nice. We're chilling. We're chilling. We got this guy over here, which I definitely won't be able to kill. He's 37. He's 10 levels above me. Oh gosh, he saw me. What kind of damage do I do to him? Nothing. Yeah, I'm outie. See you later, Gator. So we got a couple guys here. Oh, I don't want to die here, but this guy's 55%. This guy's 52% blood quality. As long as they don't snipe me, I think I may be good here. I gotta kill one of them though. I think I'm gonna kill this guy right here, the dead eye, first. Cool. All right, I gotta get rid of one of these guys. Just don't die. Damn it. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Fuck, I died. No. I'm back. We got just the archer here. So I if I can get him alone. And just feed on him like this. And then run away. Because there's this big guy up here. I'm gonna go through this way. Oh, gosh. Okay, see you later. We got rogue, 52%. We got increased movement speed. I'm gonna morph. We're gonna go... Go back home. Oh gosh. I guess we're not gonna morph. Oh gosh, it's so hot out. It burns. My eyes, they burn. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bones in this grinder. That way we can start working on getting some grave dust. So I wanna get this quest out of the way to build this stone coffin, which is we need in order to build it. If I go here, fundamentals. Stone coffin is stone brick and grave dust. We have three. So, and I think we have some in one of these chests here. If I go here, 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 here ye, here ye. Last one, maybe. I don't know, I'll find it, but I can take those bones. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for those to get um, grinded down, I guess. And then we will go from there. I need to take some of this stone brick. So we have our stone coffin. This thing is huge. We got a nice big old bed. And this can be placed right over, I want to say probably right here is probably the best place to put it for now. We'll go ahead and claim our, we got the servant coffin. Construct and interact with a servant coffin. Interesting. So I got this lumberjack's axe from, I want to say killing that lumberjack. I would assume so, which is awesome because the gear level is lower, but it does 50% physical damage to wood. So if I put it up here, this can be at axed. <laughs> this could be, um, act, act like my, um, weapon to chop wood i would say so this is probably a little bit better than well it is better than the copper axes so because this is specifically for wood so that's pretty cool all righty guys before we end this episode here i'm going to go ahead and upgrade our castle part so this is going to give us way more space to build we're going to have more servant coffins we can actually put in more time so now we're four days, but you know, I'll be playing probably tomorrow so I can mess around with that. But this is actually good because if I go here, borders, 
And if I get some stone, I can actually expand my borders a little bit to have a little bit more room. Stone, where are you? There we go. Perfect. Pull that up. 22 more. At least that's what I have enough for. So now... I can actually expand all out here. Boom, boom, boom. We got to destroy these big rocks. But I'm going to take as much land as possible. There we go. Expand out here. Boom. Perfect. So this is going to give us way more room to kind of work out with. There we go. I can even come out here. And I think that's all we can kind of do right now, which is fine. I'm going to need to build a couple more saws and grinders if I want to speed this process up. As you guys can see, I'm slowly making my way towards the end of our castle here, but I'm going to move back these walls now. Can I get 100%? Um, uh, 75%. That's okay, that's okay. So we'll, we'll start moving everything out a little bit, but that is going to be the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed this and made it this far, please subscribe, like, help me get to 300 subs, and I'll see you next time. Peace.